the election now less than 100 days away. Who will be her VP? How can he regain momentum? This morning on ABC's This Week. Join us for This Week, this morning starting at 10 right here on ABC. Welcome back on your 948 on a Sunday, August the 4th. We are in for mostly cloudy skies today. We'll take it. It's been so hot and humid, and it will stay that way today, not as oppressive as it was yesterday. We are within the 70s all across the board this morning as we wake up and start our Sunday. The heat index, although it will feel a bit warmer than the temperature the thermometer is going to read, so it'll feel more closer to 90 degrees by mid-afternoon for Central Park, and then interior interior sections of New Jersey, also in the upper 80s, and also Long Island and the Jersey Shore. So it's going to be a bit warmer again. Uh, our high today is going to be 85, so it'll feel more closer to 90. Uh, and then we have the 1145 tonight, and it still is pretty sticky. Now, it's going to lead into Monday being the more oppressive day of the next 10 days. And then after Monday, we have Tuesday, it hits. It's below average. We have unsettled weather heading our way, and that is in the form of rain. So the the future cast for today, we're good. The Yankees have that first pitch at 135 against the Blue Jays in the Bronx. That should start out well. You might see some showers roll through. 2 o'clock this afternoon, things start getting a bit unsettled along the Jersey Shore, northwest of the city. They really start getting going at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Scattered in nature. We could see some intense downfalls of rain like we did yesterday, but just not as severe. It doesn't look like the winds are going to be gusting as much. 6 o'clock tonight, Central Park, New York City, Westchester, we could see more in the way of rain, uh, but it looks like Long Island, and you're really going to miss a big portion of it. It winds down and tapers off for all of us by 9 o'clock tonight. And the overnight hours in the morning for your commute tomorrow, we're dry as a bone, but very warm, very uncomfortable. Tropical Storm Debbie right now, it will likely, we're at this point, is tracking to be a hurricane by early morning tomorrow, and it's going to hit the big bend of Florida. Dangerous, life-threatening storm surge, up to 9 feet of water moving in because of that storm. Then it goes across the Panhandle, across Georgia, goes out to sea, then hooks back inland into South Carolina. Then by Friday early morning, it's at that border, the remnants, from South Carolina to North Carolina. We're likely going to see some remnants of Debbie here in the area, and that's likely going to be Friday. We just don't know how intense or in what way, because the models are still kind of disagreeing. The weather wellness for today, UV index is low at 3. Our high today will be 85, still uncomfortable. AccuWeather alert because of the heat, the humidity, and the storms starting to pop around 2 o'clock this afternoon scattered in nature. 73 starts winding down overnight hours and 91 tomorrow as your high. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. And then again, Tuesday, it really starts getting nice. 82 is your high. Humidity drops. That rain starts likely in the afternoon. So we'll be dry up until then. And then we have rain hit and miss all throughout the week. Debbie makes uh, an arrival likely by Friday. But today, it's going to be hot and humid. And tomorrow, watch out. It's going to be another oppressive day. We'll be right back.